Welcome back to the four on five, right back to that breaking news in Washington, D.C. A U.S. Capitol officer has died. Another seriously injured. The suspect also dead. This after an apparent attack outside of the U.S. Capitol this afternoon. And our Washington correspondent, Alexandra Limon, is joining us live. What can you tell us being there on the ground, Alexandra? Cherish, uh, U.S. Capitol Police actually just identified the suspect involved in all of this. They say he is 25-year-old Noah Green. Uh, they say he rammed his vehicle into those two U.S. Capitol Police officer. We also understand that authorities are working to try to get warrants for access to his online accounts. And it is with a very, very heavy heart that I announce one of our officers has succumbed to his injuries. U.S. Capitol Police identified the officer who died as an 18-year veteran of the force, William Billy Evans. Acting U.S. Capitol Police Chief Yogananda Pittman says this is devastating news just three months after that deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. We know police shot and killed the suspect who was driving the car. Pittman says that driver jumped out of the vehicle armed with a knife. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward U.S. Capitol Police officers, at which, at which time uh, U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. At this point, police have not identified the second officer who was hurt or the suspect who was killed by police. It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. Great. And again, this story is developing very quickly, so that suspect has now been identified as 25-year-old Noah Green. Police say they do not believe there is an ongoing threat to the Capitol or the area around it, and it's worth mentioning lawmakers were actually on recess this week, so they're not here in Washington. President Joe Biden also released a statement extending his condolences to the families, and he says he is being briefed on this situation. Alexandra, any motive at this time? So earlier in that press conference, police said that they did not believe this was an act of domestic terrorism. But again, the investigation is ongoing. And again, they are trying to get those warrants for access to the suspect's online accounts to see if they can gain more information about a possible motive. Very big news. And our hearts go out to that officer and his family. Thank you, Alexandra.